Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Alright guys, Captain O'Neill here, Steve, and uh, welcome to another video. You like the intro? Yeah, dash cams. Seriously, I put it in the car, within 10 minutes that happened to me. It's, <laughs> yeah, it happens, but um, yeah, dash cams. Uh, I've always wanted to have a dash cam in the car, but I just don't like the size of them. Um, they're huge things with screens on the back of them, um, they just look like mobile phones stuck to your car. They're so in your face, they're so easy to nick that you end up having to take them out of the car. No, I just don't like them. And, you know, and then you see people that have got like their sat nav and then their phone and then a dash cam. Oh, it's like, it's horrible. I like driving, I don't like my visibility um, uh, impaired by all these gadgets all over my windscreen. So I've always wanted a decent little unobtrusive little webcam up in, uh, dash cam up in my windscreen. Um, I really, really wanted one that just works automatically, don't have to think about. It. But more importantly, I wanted one that had decent video quality, at least HD video quality. Now that is rubbish that you've seen before. So thanks to our Chinese friends, with the, all the miniaturization they've done on all the camera technologies over the last couple of years, things have started to get better. And what I've got in my hands here is a Blue Sky C dash cam. Really, really nice. And I got this off Amazon. And I'm going to leave all of the links down below for this and probably some others as well. Now, as always, with eBay and Amazon, it's like a lottery, especially when you're buying things from China. Do they work? What's the quality like? It says it's HD. It's not really. It says it's 4K, but it only runs at two frames a second. This one, I did a lot of research and I eventually went and got it, and I tell you what, I am super, super impressed with it. So, like I said, I'll leave the links down below. So, before we go anywhere, let me just run a few video for you and just show you the quality of it, because after all, that's why you're watching this review. You want to see the quality that comes out of this little teeny device. See how she takes, so we're just moving ourselves out of the street at the moment. Of course, I have the roof down as well, so it's very, very noisy. December, roof down, don't know I look like an idiot. So what do you think? you got to admit, that's pretty damn impressive out such a teeny little device like this. I was super impressed with it, and that was the first time I set it all up. So, the Blue Sky C. Yeah, funny, funny little name, I know. I'm sure there's other variants of it. I'm sure it's a clone, but this does actually work really, really well. So why do I like it so much? Well, quite simple. Look at the size of it. It is just the size of a credit card. 
It sits in my hand, it weighs nothing. It's absolutely beautiful. And why is it so small? Well, quite simple, I've got no battery in it. It's just got a couple of capacitors to hold the charge. It's powered by USB, which they give you a nice, massive, great big long USB cable into your 12 volt supply in your car through a cigarette lighter, and it just does the job. Now, most people who have dash cams have these connected up to USB anyway, and because they're so big and they're sitting, they're so obvious, they always end up taking them out of the car every time or put them in the glove compartment because of, they don't want people to steal them. This thing, nobody's going to recognise it. It's just hidden up there. So it's USB powered, no battery. That keeps the size down. The other thing is it's got no screen on it. Nothing to distract you. Why do you need a screen? It's a dash cam that runs at the top of your computer, on the top of your uh, car and it just records. The only time you're interested is something happens. So why have a great big screen, add into the price and add into the size? At the end of the day, we've all carry one of these nowadays, mobile phone. This has Wi-Fi Direct, you run the app, a free app on your phone and then you can got the screen and you can control it if you so wish to. You can download videos, set it up, do all the menu options in it, that's up to you. So that's how and why it's so small. So let's just run through the whole device itself. First off, how do you get it onto your screen? Well, there's a detachable clip here. There it is just there. And you stick it onto your windscreen, make sure it's nice and clean, alcohol, rub it down, stick it on there. They give you loads of 3M pads to stick that on. And then the unit itself just then slides in like so and clicks into place. And then you can twist the actual lens itself, and here's the lens, you can twist it so it's pointed in the right direction, connect your phone up, check it's all working. Nice and easy. I'll just put this bit down so I don't lose it. Nice and easy. Let's move around it. The bottom here we have the USB cable. Like I said, they give you a nice long USB cable with a cigarette lighter attachment in it. In fact, let's get that out of the box and show you that because of, it is nice and huge. It comes in a really, really nice box like this. A bit bespoke type of box. Let's just uh, get into here and we'll show you what they actually give you. They give you a USB cable so you can connect it directly to your computer. I'm sure you've got hundreds of these lying around. Uh, get rid of that. And then you've got this massive great big long cable and a cigarette lighter. The nice thing as well on the cigarette lighter is that you can flip the end open like so and there's additional USB so you're not wasting USB either. Um, and that lights up blue when it's all powered up. Nice long cable. Um, and then you've got a micro USB that hits into the end of that. Really nice. Everything supplied in the box table. It gives you all the 3M pads and a cleaning cloth and some really good instructions, actually. So then you've got the micro SD card here. Like I said, I'll leave the links down below, but um, I run a 32 meg uh, Toshiba in there. It's a class 10, decent speed, works brilliantly. I get about five hours continuous recording on that. Um, and I do recommend that you use a class 10. Like I said, I'll leave the links down below, but it will take up to 64 gigs. So you can get up to 10 hours continuous recording out of it. And then on the other end is the emergency button. So how does it all work? Well, quite simply, all it's doing is it sets itself and it records in blocks of one minute or five minutes. You can configure that how you want, depending on how long you want each video and, or how many files you want. But it will just constantly keep recording until it fills the card up. And then it'll go right back to the beginning and overwrite the oldest ones. And it'll keep doing that. So you've got a continuous 32 gig, five hour recording cycle. At any time that you want to lock one of those one minute or five minute videos, you can reach up and press the button. And it will lock it and mark it as locked and it will never get over it. And then you can connect your phone up and download the actual app, uh, download uh, the, the movie, or you can take the SD card out, or take the unit off your car by just detaching it from the uh, from the uh, windscreen attachment, and then watch it on your computer and do what you need to do with it. So that's the manual way of doing it. But it also has a G-Sensor in it as well. So the G-Sensor does one of two things. First off is, assuming it's powered up, which it will always be because it's sat in your car connected up, um, if it's powered up, um, if it's got power into it and you start your car up, as soon as it detects movement, it will start recording, start that constant loop, which is brilliant. So that's the first thing the G-Sensor does. The other thing the G-Sensor does as well is that if your car has a constant 12 power supply, even with the ignition off, so for example, Fords and I think Vauxhalls might do it as well, then this just sits there dormant because if it's got a constant 12 volt power supply through your cigarette lighter. And then if somebody bumps into your car and 
it will then start recording. So it's what they call a parking mode. But your car must supply constant 12 volts with the keys out the ignition. Unfortunately, my BMW doesn't do that, but I could rig it up to the battery if I really wanted to. And then the other thing the G-Sensor does is if it detects a collision or a violent jolt, the G-Sensor moves, then it will automatically press that button for you. So I've had a really good scenario, and I'll just play you a quick clip now so you can see what happened to me on the British road. So I don't know if you worked out that. Now this really applies to the guys in the UK because they know all about this. But basically we're just riddled with potholes and I drive a decent car. Um, it's got very low profile tires on it um, and potholes are an absolute nightmare. And what was happening is I was driving that country road and he heard a boomf and he heard this say something. Basically it said video locked. It detected a collision and it wasn't actually. It was my rear tire smacking into a pothole and it automatically pressed that button and saved a video clip for me, which is how then I could go along and go to our council and say, you've damaged my tire. Yes, that's true, in the UK we can do that, but you've got to know when it happened and where it happened to report it. Well, funny enough, I can. So that's another little good thing for you guys in the UK on there. But yeah, so that's how the G-Sensor works in it. Really, really simple. So what I do like about it is literally you just put it up you connect up your USB cable, you route it through your car, you hide it away as much as possible, it's in your cigarette lighter, forget about it. First couple of days, weeks, yeah, you'll be messing around with the videos and looking at your cool driving stuff and that lot, but you know what, after a couple of weeks you'll just forget it's there until you have an accident and then you'll get your phone out and download it or take the unit off and read the SD card. Really, really smart. And the video quality on it is fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, break away and I'm going to actually connect this all up to my computer and show you the actual app, the free app that comes with this running through my mobile phone so you can see all of the options and how to configure it all. Right, so we've got my desktop on screen here and you can see my mobile phone I've got here, nice little piece of software called SideSync, uh, connected up to my Galaxy. Now the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the Google Store uh, Play Store or you need to go to the iStore and go and download the actual application itself. And the application uh, looks like, and it's all listed in instructions, but it's called a B1 Car VCR. And then we need to connect up our bad boy. Make sure we got the camera going here. We'll connect him up like so. Um, and hi, Rain Media. Hi. So she switched on. Okay. So the next thing I need to do then is I need to go. Oh, she's still talking. Is I need to go and connect up through Wi-Fi, direct. So I'm going to go into my settings into here um, I'm going to go to my connections click on here there she is BW1 that's the one I want connect up and we're connecting and we're done okay awesome so we've got that lot done okay so next thing we can do nice and simply now is go back to our application there it is and select our application now I've just got this connected up to my computer um, just so that you can see this um, and it, all this computer lead is doing is just adding USB power supply okay so now we're up here and we press the center to get connected and we're connected now if I move this bad guy around you should hopefully be able to see there's my webcam that's recording this part of me <laughs> and yeah you can see the video quality and this is directly on my phone so we're looking exactly what I'm looking at on my phone on screen here really really simple nice and easy and it's actually recording at the moment now. I can stop the recording if I want. And it just told me, it's told me video stopped. I can start it up again. Easy. I can take a picture. So um, let's just take a picture of that screen there. Snapshot. And she just told me she's taking a snapshot. Really, really simple. Um, then what I can do is I can go and have a look in the video list. So here's the videos that are actually stored in here. So we've got a couple. Let's just take a nighttime one. So we can hit that and play. This is now playing on my mobile phone. Now I've not got the sound up and running at the moment. My mobile phone's uh, on quiet because I'm recording the video. But there is sound on that and you can see the quality of the video. I can go back. Um, if I want I can go select. Select a video and then I can download it to my phone. Nice and easy. Or I can take the USB stick out of uh, the, uh, the micro SD card out of here. And stick it into my computer and look at it. And the other thing, nice thing in here is 
if we just come back um, we can go and have a look at the image files that we've taken so here's the images so there's the image we've just taken and one thing I didn't show if you go to the video list the emergency videos so these are the emergency videos that happen so that's the one that uh, when the guy pulled out in front of me I actually hit the emergency button to save that clip because so, he didn't actually hit me and didn't set the G meter off and then the final part that I just quickly want to show you as well is if we go back to the main menu is the menu options and in the menu options we can change the video resolution so we can change it down if we want um, segmentation so I want my videos actually to be five minutes long so that I get less files so my five minute long videos um, I can put time watermark so that's the information about date and time at the bottom I can set it to be recording set a Wi-Fi password I can change the frequency that records in for PAL NTSC 50 to 60 Hertz capacity allowance that is basically how much capacity will be given over to locked files and it has to have a minimum I think of 30 if we select here so yeah I can put 30 or I can say up to 60 um, I can say up to 60 percent of the SD card will be reserved for locked files um, nice and easy to set it up there but you got, got to have some of it and I think minimum is 30 we come back we got the G sensor so you can change it from high low medium so it depends on when it you know when it activates itself and then we can format the card as well um, and then we got the driver version and really that is it it's nice and simple uh, piece of software okay so as you see the app is dead easy to use you just set it up play with it have a look at it you know what nine times out of ten you probably won't bother you'll just use it for setup make sure it's pointed in the right direction first couple of weeks showing your friends and stuff like that but it's great nice little app to control it all no need for an lcd screen in here no you just use your phone to do it, it makes sense doesn't it absolutely makes sense so i am super 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 impressed with this really really do like it small simple just works it does the job on there so what's it like at night time okay Let's run some video clips and show you at night time. And of course, it will include the very beginning intro scene as well. But I think it's pretty good. An idiot. Lock file. One. Go for a red light. So even at night time, I am just amazed by the quality. All of the light glares you get, you're going to get that with any camera. And it was a combination of effects there. Um, number one is basically it was raining a bit, so obviously you're going to get some water, light glare. And my windscreen was a bit dirty, to be honest, because my car's filthy. Um, and the noise you heard throughout the videos is because I had my roof down um, in the daytime. And on the night time, I think I had the roof up. Uh, so you get a lot of noise, but it does record audio as well. Hence the reason for the beep Because <laughs> I couldn't really put that on YouTube. So what do I think of this little bad boy? I tell you what I love it. I love it. I'm keeping it. I thought I'd get one of these see what it's like If it wasn't any good, I'd just sell it on eBay or I give it the wife put it in her car But you know what? No, I like it. It's staying in my car. I seriously recommend this um, It works like I said, there's loads of them out there on eBay. There's loads of them out there on, on Amazon. Um, all coming from the same sort of places. Some of them cheaper than this, some are more expensive. But this does work. I can confirm it works really nice, really handy. I love the features in it. And I love its small, compact design. Set it up, forget about it. Awesome. Oh, and you can also stick them in the rear as well. So you could have two of them. One front, one rear facing. Really, really nice. So... Hope you like this review. Uh, that was the uh, Blue Sky C um, dash cam. Um, like I said, links are down below. If you feel like you're liking this channel, please subscribe. 
Um, you'll get all the regular updates. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what you think. What dash cams do you use? Do you think they're a good idea? Do you think the world's going mad with video cameras nowadays? I don't know. Let me know. Um, also, consider being a Patreon. I think I've got to use the left hand because it's up on that side. I keep forgetting where it is. And um, as always, I'll catch you next time on another video. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.